This is something stylists, groomers, barbers all need. These are scissor pliers. How do you use them? When do you use them? And why in the world do you need them? So typically, when I'm adjusting a screw on a shear that has a like a regular, this is a split screw, I'm just going to use a screwdriver. But sometimes I can't turn the screw with a screwdriver. I need a little extra torque. That's when these scissor pliers come in. And what's nice about them is that these little bits are interchangeable. Also, let's say you have a larger screw and you have um, the larger bits. These are just the regular bits you can buy at any hardware store and they'll fit in here. If you're going out to buy some, make sure you get a good enough steel because if you've got to do a lot of turning, uh, these need to have an extra little strength to the steel. So I'm going to put in this bit because this is about the size to fit that screw. I put this in here. And I like that it's plastic. There are metal ones out there. The plastic ones, it's a little harder to strip the screw. Well, in my hands, it, I've never stripped a screw, but uh, some of you guys have really strong hands. And you fit this in the slot, close it down, and you see how these are not lined up? You want to have it so it clicks into place. And then you can adjust this a little bit tighter. And to loosen it, of course, you're turning it left to loosen. This one's a really hard screw to turn. And that's loosened it up and to tighten it. And it's a ratcheting thing, so you can lift it up. See how that's going in there? Where the little getting down to the space. So you can turn it and it get, makes it a little bit easier. And that's a typical way to use it. Sometimes you get something crazy. Let me show you this one. Yesterday, these shears were sent in to me and they've been taken apart. I don't advise taking these type of scissors apart. You can run into all kinds of problems like this person did. I think they lost the washer because there's no washer in here. So I've supplied a washer but they couldn't get them back together. Typically the square peg goes in the round hole. This is one of them that does not follow that order. So this, the square peg goes into the square hole on this one. It's an exception to every rule. You see how that screw, when you see that, you know you're in trouble to, before you even start. In fact, when I see screws like that, I tend to walk away from the sharpening. Uh, if you're a hairstylist, good luck. Try, try to get it, you know, that's when you definitely need a scissor plier. But this one, with it being a two-piece, when you start to try to tighten it, you see it's pushing out back here. It's hard to turn this with a screwdriver, even with that finger over here. I'm not able to get it. I can get it so far, but then it just is stuck on me. So let's get it in here. And that's as far as I can get it. So when I try to use this, my problem is when I get this into the slot, that hole in the back, that back just pushes through that hole. I never can get a grip on it because the back just presses out. So how I solve this problem you can make your own device, but this is going to work for me. I put this in here so it doesn't push below there. I put my shears here, and now that presses and holds that into place. Let me get it positioned correctly. Finding this is not ratcheting as it should, but I can move it. Every once in a while, I'll check it to see if I'm close to being there. So I hope that was helpful to you. If you're wanting some other tips, go check out my channel at Benika Shears. And then you can subscribe. You can hit the little bell. I'll let you know when we have videos. Most of our videos are geared to sharpeners, but stylists and barbers love them as well. It's kind of good to see what's being done to your shears. And these tips here are helpful to you. So if you have any comments or if you have questions or anything or want to send shears to me to sharpen or resharpen, uh, just feel free. I'm glad you watched our video.